For so long, here we go again. You guys love convergent Pokemon. Regional fakes, convergent variants, whatever you call this guy introducing Pokemon is Carrot and Violet. So why not another round? What was that? Did you choose the convergent? Yeah, and to start with a bang, how is you an idea that a final call? Interesting. We know that Porygon, besides us, the controversies, is a geometric Pokemon computer made. And yeah, is. What if you were Origami, one of those paper folds? So that's my concept for it. An Origami paper bird. Nothing is interesting because it's open up possibilities for evolutions to be other paper folds, like airplanes complex origamis or perhaps other handcraft art forms that use paper, like paper lanterns, the yokai shoshinyo bakti, wind of paper, shoji or other paper sculptures. But note that the colors are similar to those of Porygon, but I decided to change them during the rendering of camera. And here is Porygami, this is its cry. Obviously, the name is a combination of Porygon and Origami, and its normal ghost type due to the unpredictability of its transformations. In addition to the lines about Origami, I changed the colors to be more unique too. I can also imagine- Wait, wait, wait! If it's made of paper, who fold it? It wasn't me, of course. They don't have fingers and just tooth. Uh, okay. The legend says, A wise he say from Kanto, who live in a mountain, folded a paper bird every single day for his son, moving to another island to work on research. And the old man released it on the mountain to fly. He helps the bird to reach his son. One day, one of these birds mysteriously came to life and returned to the Sensei Dojo. At this moment, he realized that the spirit of his son dwelled into the bird. So, well, if there's more than one Porygami, he was too busy making babies out there. Well, there wasn't television at that time. You're running my emotional story. Ugh, okay. Whenever the shiny version is that color, you see my painting. So let's move on on the next design. As you know, from my avatar and history of the channel, I love frogs. So, I've been debating a bizarre idea for a convergent. Or if there are many then, instead of a ape, because, yeah, he's a monkey in case you don't know, what if you were a frog? I thought it was an unusual, out-of-the-box idea. So yeah, the design I chose was inspired by the Suriname toad, which is a frog from the Amazon rainforest that carries eggs on its skin, by the way, triggering prephobia, and his toad is also found in Brazil, what a coincidence. I chose yellowish colors to reference poison from colorful creatures, and tell is that region where its show if it has terminated them is now a vocal stack of the frogs. After all, I also drew inspiration from frog hibernation, but I will talk more later. But here is Darmanuran. It's poison type in the name is a fun combination of Darmanian and Ha, huh, or to be his word for frog. Do you know the difference between frogs and toads? Uh. Come on, be quiet, toad school. My name sounds like toad, huh? Jealous? We could be friends, frog friends. Amphibian, you're a mushroom, not a toad. My shiny version is black with green and orange because it resembles neon colors. Yeah, I think it fits very well, so why not? But the maintenance of Unova and Galar have the same mode, so I made my own too. Remember when I talk about frog hibernation? Well, in winters, frogs bury themselves under the mud and freeze themselves too on the surface of the body. It's very low body activity, and that's exactly like the same mode of Unova Darmenton works. Not a Galar one, which for some reason isn't very active, even being Zayn. Anyway, the design resembles Japanese frog statues, besides a frozen frog. I tried to make it look like a statue that don't move, and the colors are pale and purple to evoke skin under the effect of cold. I won't show the image of that, obviously. They contrast well with the yellow of the original. Now, it's poison ice type because it freezes and is almost mobile all the time, barely moving as if you were really frozen. I know you could have ice details, but I didn't want to be too obvious. I don't know if it did work. And the shiny one is also black and bluish, similar to the normal form. 
Next a suggestion from member who told me on Squared because it's easy for me. But before talking about the octopus Tangela, I want to give a big special thanks to the members Jack Tumar, by Bunny, Prowl, Bru, and Christopher Takino. This special thanks to all the members so far. Just thanks to them that I may need to buy a new microphone for the channel. So if you want to support my work, you can earn new rewards. Because they're becoming a member. Anyway, his idea was to make a Tangela inspired by octopus which instead of vines were tentacles. I thought it was a good idea, but I didn't know how to work on it. So for my design, I decided to think more like a chilled and sticky bubblegum. So don't be surprised if I design the candy and sweet. The vibrant and kawaii colors also have the convenient idea. I think they would like it to chew in gum now. Huh? Hey, don't talk like that about Tentela. On the of tentacle and tangela. It's war fairy type because it's an octopus and because sweets are associated to the fairy type. I see a sweet shape of fairy type being pink. I was a little pinkish of push you up a little bit. Just a little. <laughs> okay, this new version turns blue to reference the original tangela. And I think it's worked well. And I'm not going to evolve it today, but I assure you, it won't evolve into ting growth. I think some who has known me for a while can imagine what I'm thinking for it. Of course, uh, you make a uh, Kraken, the love crafting picture, the monster. Uh, no, and you don't know me. Come on, we are friends, aren't we? I mean, if you know each other for each oh, one about five minutes. I don't know how long this video is going to be so far, but we are ready to lose. I feel it. Nope, keep your spars away from me. I just was trying to be cool. I mean, we go to school. <laughs> go to school. It's so pathetic that I feel sorry. Actually, I'm the one who is writing and voice acting this, so I think I'm the pathetic one about this one. Whatever, the next one is a suggestion for a subscriber from this squad who showed me one of the most adorable and breathing ideas I've ever read. Balinx inspired by the mama duck and her ducklings. Bro, this is amazing. I love it. That's so it's solid and I decided to make it immediately. I love it too. As I was saying, my design was heavily inspired by the duck family, but also by chickens and chicks, because of a similar relationship, it makes sense, I think. Note that the last failing was trying to keep up with the group, probably the ugly duckling among them. Also, the colors are inspired by ducks, the yellow and rubber ducks, but also in chickens, there are sometimes white and yellow chicks. Quite simple and cute, I guess. And here is Fab Beaks. <laughs> a combination of fallings and beaks. Because they have beaks and I, because I could think of him better. It's flying ground type because it makes sense, I think. Especially ground, since they walk a lot. I think this could answer the age-old question. Like the chicken across the road. <laughs> oh no, don't do this. The new version is blue, to reference that bird from Angry Birds. And because they found it cute. Sometimes simplicity is the best. And that's how friendships are born. You are not my friend. Whatever. That's an idea that I had to make a conversion for a hot terrain. Inspired by mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms. That's because... I know I don't... You're the reference to me. Wasn't. I feel so honored. No. What? No. Is it because I think her head looks like a mushroom? And for the design, it's said to be inspired by forest mushrooms, especially the darker ones, as well as witches, because it makes perfect sense with the magic and forest aesthetic, and also aliens. Just look at the shape of hat and the boobs, and it looks like in top of mushroom. And I made her face even more like an alien. Don't you think it looks like an alien inside the chamber or something? Anyway, the colors are shades of purple and white to evoke the wild mushroom. But know that it was originally in not the shade of green, not anymore. Here is Chanterine. A combination of Chantal, which is a species of mushroom, and Hatterine, of course. The stand was difficult to think about it because it was several times that makes sense, but my final choice was Poison Dark. Oh, that's a beautiful one down my seat here. Did you know there are fungus too? It's just me, and there are fungus among us. Cease. Toad's cool, more like Toad's fool. Whatever, the shiny version becomes a lot yellowish, but not much changes. I could have made her green to reference the scrappy version, but I think these colors are prettier. Give me another chance to show you all the new school stuff about me that I wrote in my authorized and self published autobiography. What? No, we are not cool. Lunas, I'm done. I'm tired of being the nice guy. Nobody appreciates cool moms. It's over. 
and now crew, you will see beige. Well, now it's an idea coming from Discord again. For a member of the channel and server booster, she asked me to make a conversion dolphin inspired by elephant seals. She don't even know that it existed before, but it makes sense in a good pun. Anyway, I said to be inspired by dolphins if the fin and walrus to reference the elephant puss. Since she said it will be very territorial, I mean it looks grumpy as a nice touch. Also, know that it has orange colors, but I decided to change it during the rendering because I found a very option. And here is Dolphin. A combination of Dolphin and Dolphin. Just war fighting type as she requested, and I think it makes sense. You know that the colors are similar to Dolphin, but not so similar as you remember. Each new version has orange colors, you will say in the painting process. And well, if you like conversions, maybe you like this video designing new field Pokemon, because they made some new conversions, like to Misty, another original Pokemon, and guarantee it to be at least tasty. Bye bye, Huggies.